One Penn State student is attempting to become an ice man. Reporter Allison Hedges has more on his surprising ambition. Listen, uh, Justin, Wim. Over the course of several years, I trained with Wim Hof the Iceman to train my body how to adapt to extremely cold temperatures. And then we wrote the book to show the world how to do the same. Hey there, before we jump into all that, first of all, let me introduce myself. I'm Justin. I'm one of the co-authors of Becoming the Iceman with Wim Hof, the Iceman. And I wanted to jump in for our first Freeze Friday. Freeze Friday. Uh, I thought after chatting with some of our friends here on Reddit, the subreddit for Becoming the Iceman, that it might be great just for us to be able to get together, talk about some of the things um, that happened on the journey to become the Iceman and even to write the book, not just like writing the book, but the experiences of training in Finland, in Netherlands, uh, in Spain, in Poland, and even here in the States, in the United States. It's just been neat to be able to um, just see so many things happen over the last 10 years over the last 10 years since Becoming the Iceman was published. And I would love to hear from you. If you know what Becoming the Iceman is, if you know who Wim Hof is or the Iceman, uh, go ahead and let me know in the comments how you first heard about him or it and uh, what your experience has been like so far. Uh, I'd also love to hear from what part of the world you're joining in from. Uh, when we published the book about 10 years ago, got emails from people literally all over the world about how they came across it on YouTube or came across it on uh, like the book on Amazon. And so I want to hear what your experience was like. Go ahead and let me know in the comments. And the reason why we're doing Freeze Friday and going to try this for the next few weeks to see how it goes is just to be able to connect, to hang out. I'm going to show you an Iceman exercise here that I put together that was in the book. And then also kind of pull some of the stuff from the Iceman archives, share it with you, and then hopefully answer some of the questions that, that you have as it pops up. Now, um, Wim has an amazing YouTube channel and amazing website that has all of the different things on the breathing method, the Wim Hof method, and all the different ways that you can kind of dive into that. And I put the link in that in the description to both his YouTube channel and to his website. But I also want to show you some of the practical exercises, the, the cold ice exercises that I did as a college student at Penn State University 10 years ago that helped me train um, my body in when I didn't really have access to like, you know, a frozen tundra. I didn't really have a, a lake that I could kind of cut a hole into in the middle of winter and dive into. At least none that I would like feel comfortable in and like feel comfortable not actually like getting arrested for like, you know, I was at a college campus and if somebody's driving, dumping it or jump, jumping into a frozen lake, chances are they're going to be thought of as like maybe intoxicated. So I just tried to avoid all of that by coming up with these exercises. Let me show you what I got here real quick. Uh, this is an, um, this is a surface extremity exposure exercise. Now, before I kind of do this, just, you know, there's a disclaimer in the description all about how like um, you just got to be careful with this type of stuff. I, I wouldn't necessarily recommend trying this without um, proper precautions. Like this, this is an attempt at your own risk type thing. But this is an exercise that I created a, a while back that helped me um, replicate something that Wim would do all the time. So Wim would tell me a couple of things. He would say, just do it. And you might occasionally see this green thing pop up. I'm This is my first time streaming using this software. I'm trying to get used to it. But let me jump back into the story and I'll show that in a second. So Wim, uh, a long time ago when we were chatting through email, had um, was trying to help me like train my body to be able to withstand extremely cold temperatures, right? And so I asked him, like, how did you get your hands to be able to withstand um, the cold? Like, how did you do it with your feet? Like all these different things. And for um, what he would tell me is in, in, in addition to jumping into like frozen lakes and kind of uh, doing the exercises and his own exercises, cold exercises, his own breathing exercises, he also shared with me that he would climb um, like frozen rocks, cold rocks, and his hands would build up the cold, like the dexterity while practicing uh, touching cold surfaces, right? And so I thought, well, what if I created a similar experiment and just put my hand like on ice? And that's what I tried. That This is, this is the surface extremity exposure uh, exercise that I created when I was in college. It's like a cake pan, right? I have a link to a cake pan in the description too, if you don't know where to get cake pans. But it's a simple cake pan that I put water in and I put it in my freezer and it's a quick way to have um, this exercise, the surface extremity exposure exercise. And so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you know, put my hand on this ice and we're going to watch a video together. That video that started to play in the beginning, uh, somebody made it about 10 years ago just to be able to report on some of the things that we were doing you know, the upcoming like publishing of the book and even us being able to go to Finland, like women and I going to Finland together, him, him going to run a uh, 10K for the fastest time barefoot in the snow and then me doing the 5K fastest time barefoot through the snow. Now, if you don't know any of this type of stuff, feel free to subscribe to this channel. I have a couple other videos showing like exercises and some more things and hopefully we'll be coming together uh, for the next few weeks 
for Freeze Fridays to talk about just this type of stuff. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump in. I'm gonna kind of flip this cam over and again, excuse the random green thing that might pop up. I gotta get used to this. So let's go ahead, apply the cold and we will go ahead and throw up the, uh, the video here so that we can also just watch together. Now, um, I'm gonna push play in a second, but also just so you know, whenever I do these exercises, I talk about in the book, the four stages of the cold. Now, this is something that I determined for myself to be able to tell myself when to pull myself out of the cold temperatures. And again, there's that green thing. But essentially, there's I, I put together like four stages in my mind. So the stage one is like the initial like cold response, right? Where it's like a freak out stage where it's shock. So if you've ever gone into a cold shower or something like that, you like <gasps> gasp for air because it's just kind of like that shock, right? But then there's like this relaxation stage that comes right after if you kind of just like try to take slow breaths and just kind of relax and your your body kind of gets used to it. Um, mine does at least. And so right now I'm going through stage one where my body is adjusting. Like I feel the shock, I feel the cold. It's not that I don't feel it. And then going into stage two, starting to feel it where my hand is adjusting and it's starting to relax. And like the shock, the the like, I guess you could even say maybe maybe it's not really pain. It's more of just like discomfort, like that is starting to settle and it's just cold, right? And then stage three is kind of like where tingling sensations kind of start to come back in and there's that feeling, that intuition of maybe I shouldn't be doing this anymore. That's when it, that's when I usually get out. That's when I want to get out because stage four is like uh, maybe frostbite. It's maybe hypothermia, depending on the situation. That's when it's kind of like those tingles, that, that sense of, uh, hey, maybe I should get out, starts to go away and that's when it becomes dangerous. And so my hand is here on the ice for this ice exercise, the surface extremity exposure exercise. And as we're going through this, if you have any questions about like becoming the Iceman or stuff that you'd like to see on future Freeze Fridays, please let me know. I do want to hear about your journey. So let me know in the comments and let's go back to this video from the old Iceman archives from 10 years ago. And let's do it. Justin Rosales doesn't mind the numbingly cold weather. In fact, he enjoys it. The coldest temperature that I ran downtown with was uh, I think like negative four degrees with wind chill. And uh, it was actually a lot of fun. Ice baths. Ice buckets. Gonna share and shirtless with runs through State College are ways he teaches his body to withstand freezing temperatures. At first I thought he was insane and I was like, oh no, the things people are gonna say to him on the street. I had some Hold on real quick. So that that used to be my girlfriend at the time 10 years ago. I got to I got to kind of catch you up 10 years later. Um, I am now married. Yes, it is. It is a real thing. Uh, let's see. I can put it up here. That's my family. That's my family. Uh, so, of course, me there. Then uh, I'm holding my little baby daughter, Gemma. She is one years old now. And then on the right is my wife, Paige or sorry, my wife, Megan. And then daughter Paige is on the left. And so that's our family. Uh, fast forward 10 years. That's where we are today. I think that picture was taken maybe eight, six to eight months ago. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump back in. That's our family. Right now we're in Charlotte, North Carolina, like close to there. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and jump back in and watch the rest of that video. Uh, here we go. Dude chased me for uh, the whole run and he was throwing snowballs the entire time. Well, he yells up at him like, put a coat on or you're nuts. But maybe they really did chase me with left. snowballs. That was fun. Justin is trained with the original Iceman, That's Wim Hof, who has already set nine world records, including the longest ice bath. Some argue that Hof's rare genetics that allow him Poland. to withstand the cold, but he and Justin disagree. Our philosophy is that anybody can do it. Um, it can be passed on. It's just a skill that anybody else can learn. It's just training through time, like somebody learns how to run a race or swim a, uh, swim a lap. You know, that's, that's very true. So 10 years ago, like I, well, maybe 11, 11 years ago when I first came across Wim on the Discovery Channel, you know, it, it was kind of like portrayed, like what he could do as like just born with it, like a, kind of a, a mutant or like a genetic cell that was different. But um, after connecting with Wim and also just kind of feeling um, in my heart too, that there was, there was something different, that th this, what he could do was something that anybody else could do as well. And that's honestly what, what drove me in that season to reach out to him um, and to connect with him and to start training with him and to go travel to see him. And like us trying to write this book together 10 years ago before like before the Wim Hof Method became famous, before like there was all these subreddit groups for becoming the Iceman, before all of that, there was um, Wim Hof doing what he knew to be able to keep his body cold, uh, warm in cold temperatures. 
and training people in one-on-one -on -one conversations to say, hey, you can do this too. And uh, I want you to know that you can do that too. You can do this. Um, and as you see me here in the tub, this is like, this is like as real as it gets. This was like 10 years ago, okay? 10 years ago, uh, I was living in a college dorm with three other, or college apartment with three other guys. Uh, I was not like, I mean, I was just doing what I could on a budget. So the tub here is dirty. Uh, this video used to be up on YouTube and you could actually like watch it. And I remember in one of the comments, somebody said, I have no idea how I got here. I went down this long rabbit trail and somehow I uh, landed on this video and dang, that tub is dirty. And it really is like you can see how how dirty it is. But for me, I just I needed to train. I didn't have a frozen tundra right to jump into. I had to come up with these exercises like this, this, you know, surface extremity exposure experiment right now or exercise to help get my body um, used to cold temperatures and to start to train in it. So I just want you to know whether you are training to become like an ice man, whether you are training to, to pr practice whatever passion that you have. Um, First of all, let me know what that is because I want to encourage you in it. You're not alone. Please know that you're not alone. And also, you're you're not crazy. Um, you, I feel like, you know, personally, I've been on my own journey over the last, you know, 10, 11 years. Uh, I feel like each of us have a calling. And I feel like as we step into that calling, there's just like that next step comes up too, right? And there is this, this balance of safety, um, but also a need to be able to kind of press in and get like hyper focused on the stuff that we need to step into. Um, for example, for me, like the Iceman stuff, like, yes, it's cool, but also it became about mastering a mindset. I talk about it in one of my other videos, but um, if you could do this, if you could do something like, you know, growing up, you may have heard from your parents, like put a coat on, like you're supposed to, you, you can't go outside in the cold without a jacket, you're gonna get sick and die. Like, yes to the extreme, right? If you eat too much, if you try and run a marathon without any training, like there are, there are extremes that you can take it to that will hurt you. But you can also build up a tolerance over time, like list, lifting, uh, I, I honestly don't lift a lot, so I don't know what's a lot, but maybe 300 pounds or four or 500, you, you can work your way up there, right? Um, and if you try to do it off the bat at first, you're, you're probably not gonna be able to do it. So my first cold exercise was running at Penn State University in the snow, and I'll, I'll tell that story some other time, but I, I almost like stopped because I ended up basically almost getting hypothermia, almost getting frostbite. I just did not approach it um, with wisdom. I had no wisdom and I was just trying to do it. And so there are safe ways to do it. There are safe ways to approach what you're passionate about, what you feel called to. And so I hope that this can encourage you seeing me in a dirty, dirty, dirty tub 10 years ago and to know that um, this is where people start at home. And these exercises, these cold exercises, you could do it too. Uh, if you wanna become like an ice man or ice woman, but there are also things that you can do, and I want you to know it's okay to embrace that. That's that's what this passion, this channel is about. Practice your passion because we want to help you practice your passion, whatever that looks like for you. Maybe it's becoming a masterful artist. Maybe it's like figuring out how synesthesia works. Synesthesia, the ability to you know hear um, colors. So you see, you know, hear a sound, and then you see colors in your mind. There's look it up. Synesthesia is one of my uh, passions. Anyway, uh, let's get back to the video, but let me know in the comments, what is it that encourages and inspires you? What do you get excited about that you're willing to like stay up super late or wake up super early to kind of do that thing? Maybe maybe it's video games. Maybe you're passionate about building YouTube channels. Maybe you're passionate about, like I wanna know what you're passionate about. So let me know in the comments and let's get back to this video. With Hoff's guidance, Justin is training to set his first world record as well as co-write a book about his journey. Dirty, dirty the tub. Book will be titled Becoming the Iceman. It's going to be the fastest time for a 5K and a 10K barefoot in the snow. And women, are gonna, women and I are going to do it together. He's going to do the 10K and I'm going to do the 5K. And it's kind of the last chapter of us coming together and accomplishing it together. The date and location of the record-breaking marathon is yet to be announced. Until then, the snowy streets of State College will have to do. In State College, this is Allison Hedges for the Center County Report. Gosh. I remember, uh, that, first of all, that shot there. You know, was, we just had a lot of snow at Penn State University. And uh, this, this silly green thing. Anyway, she was like, hey, for this final shot, just run off into the distance. I'm going to set up this camera and run off into the distance. I'm like, okay, sure, whatever, whatever we need to do. Um, anyway, I, I hope that in some way encourages you to know that you can start wherever you are. You don't need to have a frozen tundra. You don't need to, like if you wanna become like uh, Wim Hof the Iceman, you can use the app that he created, that him and the team created. Uh, again, their channel is in the description, the link to their website, and even becoming the Iceman, 
the book. We are uh, working on refreshing the content, uh, fixing a lot of the spelling and grammars, uh, grammar errors that were originally in there 10 years ago because we just rushed it to try to get it to as many people as possible because as soon as we found out, um, and it's not that we found out, but like, you know, we ended up doing that 5K and 10K for the fastest time barefoot through the snow in Finland together. And so that was the final chapter of the book saying, hey, you can do this too. You can start right where you're at and become the Iceman or Ice Woman. Uh, the book is again, Becoming the Iceman, Pushing Past Perceived Limits. And in this channel, we're gonna continue to show you ways that you can do stuff like that, uh, but also help invest in you. Uh, I wanna help encourage and invest in the passion that is placed in your heart. Maybe it's doing this, overcoming the cold. There are cer certainly um, significant advantages to being able to master a mindset and to do something that you thought was impossible, right? To be able to, to do this, like, here. Yeah, to be able to do this, to, to train your body to withstand extremely cold temperatures and not like there is a uh, do this for infinite, right? It's building up a tolerance over time. And so maybe there is something in your life that you're trying to build up a tolerance to, to be able to take on. I'm going to take away the screen, screen sorry. Um, build up a tolerance to take on over time. And so I want to hear what that is from you again. Let me know in the comments. Let me also know where you're watching from. And I hope you could join us for the next Freeze Friday. Uh, let's see what we can do together. Let's talk about stuff. Let's build a community. We do have a Facebook group called Practice Your Passion if you want to jump into that. I want to hear what inspires you. Uh, and we're going to be talking about more Iceman journeys, more more other passionate things that have popped up from time to time. And again, I'm just so grateful for you. And I'm excited to see uh, what is going to be happening in your life and just as we get together over time. So I'm going to play um, an end card here to some other Iceman videos if you want to check them out. And I'm looking forward to seeing you again next Freeze Friday. See you guys.